Hello, I'm Mark Benson with Swag Sports Shoes. I want to thank you for taking the time to look at this video. We're going to talk about race preparation right before the race today. You've been doing the training. You're prepared for the race. So we want to help you for the last couple of days before the race. You're in the last week before the race. You're tapering down. Your body's recovering, getting ready for race day. We won't want you to have a successful race. And we want you to be ready for that race. And one of the ways to be ready is being prepared with all your equipment for the race day. There's nothing worse than you come in the day before the race and you're missing something and you start stressing out or you don't show up the race on time and you're, you're worried ahead of time. We want to help you prepare for the race day since you put all the training in for the race. Before race day, start thinking about the weather. Look ahead on your weather apps five or six days out. I know it will change. You know it will change. Weathermen don't get it right. But start looking at the weather. Are you going to be able to wear your favorite race shirt, your favorite race shorts? Or are you going to have to be in a long sleeve? You're going to have to be in long sleeves. Here in Louisville, the weather changes all the time. So start looking ahead and preparing. As you're looking ahead, think about the clothes you're going to wear. I always have my favorite pair of race shorts that I wear. If you've looked at the last many marathons, the last few years, I'm in the same shorts. I'm in the same shirt. Does it make me race better? No, it's just comfortable. I like wearing them. So think about that, be ready, have that washed and ready to go. There's nothing worse than Friday night at 10 p.m. you realize my race clothes are dirty. Then you're stressed out. So have that ready, have that set now. Also, have extra pins. When you go to packet pickup, You'll get your pickup. Maybe you don't get a chance to go till 8 p.m. Friday night before the race on Saturday. You get home and there's two pins in the bag and you need four to put your bib on. So have extra pins ready early in the week. Another thing to think about is, think about the, the gels or the sports beans or the, the different things that you use during the race. Get those early in the week. Go by the local running shoe store. Get those early in the week. Because when it gets close to, to race day, people are running in and getting them. They may be out of your favorite flavor. And there's nothing worse trying a new flavor the day of race day. So go ahead and get that out early and, and, and get that out of the way. And don't say, hey, I'm going to wait to expo and go get that. Then everybody else has got them and they've taken your favorite flavor. One thing to think about also is, when you're training is, think about socks. Now, for me, the leg is my favorite. That's what I always race in. I've got a pair I save back just for racing. But if I'm looking at the weather and it's gonna be raining like it is today here in Louisville, I'm going out in swift wet. I like swift wet for when my shoes are wet and I'm gonna be wet. So think about socks you're gonna wear. Set them out, have them ready to go. Also think about the shoes you're wearing. Do you have your race shoes? Are you coming in from out of town? Pack them, have them set out, especially if you're coming in from out of town. Also think about now, if you're new to running, you may be saying, I need to get a new pair. The worst thing we see is Friday before people come in and get a new pair of race shoes. You need to at least get a run or two in your race shoe. So make sure you come in early in the week, get a new race shoe if you need it. If something happens and you have to get a new race shoe the day before the race, take the old insole out of your old shoe, put that into your new shoe. That way it's already form fitted to your foot. So do that on race day. Now back to the weather on race day. You're lining up, you're getting ready for race day. And you're thinking, man, it's it's 30 degrees out, but I really don't wanna wear long sleeves the whole time. I really don't wanna wear this much clothes, but when I'm standing in the corral and I can't move around, I'm cold. What do I do? Get an old shirt that you may have, or go to a Goodwill, get an old shirt, put that on, wear that around, and Right before the race starts or a mile into it, take that off. Throw it, throw it to the side. They'll pick it up. They'll wash a lot of that stuff and they'll give that to the homeless mission. Gloves. Say, I want some gloves. Keep my hands warm, but I don't need them the whole time. Pick up an old pair of jersey gloves. Use those. It's things to think about. If it's raining like it is today here in Louisville, you get a big plastic bag. Put that over you while you're waiting in the crowd, while you're waiting to warm up. So think about that, and then you can take that bag off. You're gonna get wet. You're not gonna run in the plastic bag because you're gonna you're gonna sweat more and you're gonna get wet anyway. So so take that plastic bag and do that. But you need to do this ahead of time. Don't wait till Friday night, as when the race is Saturday, to prepare. Think through all of these items. Another thing to think about on race day is where are you gonna park? There's nothing more stressful as 
you say, well, I'm going to go to that race and I'm just going to go park and be there. And you spend 30 minutes trying to figure out where to park. And when then when you get there, now you're stressed out. You've lost your warm up time. You're, you're hurrying up trying to get to the race. You're stressed out and this messes your first couple miles of your race up. Figure out where you're going to park. And now, if you live in town where the race is going to happen, one of the things to do is practice it. Figure out where the road closers are, drive down, park in that spot a week early, and take a, take a run a part of the course. If you're from out of town, ask people. One of the best places to learn about where to park at a race course is at the Race Expo. Go to the local running store working the expo and go see them. They're from there. They, they run the race, they run the course. They can tell you, hey, here's a good place to park. Watch out for the traffic here. They'll ask you a lot of times, people will ask me at the expo. I say, which side of town are you coming in on? Well, I'm, I'm live on this side. Well, you need to, I'll tell them, park over here in these streets. If they're coming from the west side of town, park over here. Because the problem is during race day, when they close down roads at the race, you may park in a good spot, but you can't get out after the race. So they can help you do that. So that's one reason to go see your local running shoe store at the expo. Plus they'll have socks if you forgot those. If you travel from out of town, they'll have the gels. They'll have the different things you'll need. So go see them at the expo. Another good re thing to do at the expo before the race is, if you're new and you say, hey, I've got a special time I'd like to run. Go around the expo, especially at big races, they have pace teams. You say, what's a pace team? Well, that's people, they've designated certain times, like here in Louisville on the mini marathon that we have. We have a pace, pace team for an hour and 40 minutes. Maybe you're hoping to run that in an hour and 40 minutes. You get with that pace team person and let them do all the thinking. Let them help you make your race time. They'll get you through every time. They'll tell you when water stops are coming. They'll tell you, hey, we're gonna speed up through this little section, it's easy, because we're gonna hit the hills soon. They'll help you through the race. Another reason to go to the expo and, and see the pace team people. But before race day, the biggest part of this, take your time. Lay out the stuff you want to race in. Think about the stuff you need for, for cold weather. Think about the stuff you're going to eat during the race. Think about your shoes ahead of time. Get everything out four or five days in advance. So when you get to race day, you're not wondering, where's this stuff at? You're going, it's all right here. You think about parking. Know where you're going to park. Get to the race early. There's nothing worse than getting there late and being stressed out the whole time. Get there early. You can sit in your car and stay warm. You can, you can walk around town a little bit. That gets you time to get to the porta pots before anybody else. There's nothing worse standing in the line for porta pots and the race is about to start. So get there ahead of time. And, and give yourself plenty of time so you have a great race day. You've done the training. You've worked hard. Don't blow it the week before not being prepared for the race because you spent all the time putting the miles and energy to get your body ready. Do the little part now so you have a great race. Thank you for looking at this video. Swag Sports Shoes uh, loves our local running community. and We're here to support you. If you ever have any questions, give us a call. Also, cold weather running, if you're got questions about that we've got another video that'll be linked to this video thank you for taking the time and we appreciate you here in the